they're all just different variations on prohibition. You know? And that's the biggest issue in all these things, is, is a lack of understanding about what happens when you initiate regulation. Regulation escalates. Case in point is the age limit, particularly. Who enforces the age limit? When you take and enforce it, what kind of penalties are you going to hand down for parents who allow their children to consume cannabis? Who determines those penalties when we're talking about cannabis being a non-toxic substance? You know? And not only that, we see the tremendous medicinal benefit from it. How can we keep this from our children? Yeah, it's incredibly criminal what we're doing Absolutely. right now. But this is the whole point. If we're talking about food, if we're talking about a non-toxic substance, the point in all this is is that how do you take and make a food illegal, particularly a superfood? That's unconscionable. But that's what has happened, and here we are. We're in a day and age where just an affiliation with the plant can cause you all kinds of legal problems in your life. Yes. Uh, you know, we have varying degrees and different opinions on how to deal with this in the state. Uh, what I'm hopeful for is that with the filing of our measure today that we're able to kind of complete a range of options that might be available to Missourians on their 2018 ballot. Well, we have a lot, we have a, a lot of learning here. This is 20 initiatives, you know, and the most important thing to do is to read them. I mean, we have initiatives here that are over 14 pages. You know, why? What is that about? <clears throat> we need to find out. If this is something that you believe in, if you believe that, that we need to have heavy regulation for cannabis, then you really need to understand and read what, it, what, what, what we're going to end up with. You know? right. And the, the other point in this, just like I'm saying, is, is that with heavy regulation in each and every one of these, these things, whenever you take and you create a rule, you create a penalty. That's just oh, the way it goes. Absolutely. So. We do so much damage to our collective society by, by thinking we're organizing things better, but it just introduces another level of complication. And then if that's not appropriate to begin with, then we've got a bad thing that we're operating on and it's so hard to surgically remove that from our laws at this point. So this is, this, this is an excellent point because that's really what we're talking about here. When we talk about a reset, we're talking about stripping away all the hypocrisy, stripping away all the nonsense, all the lies and things which Basically, we've had in, had uh, uh, so much, so much. All the state statutes here across the top of here, all of these, all of this nonsense, you know, built on lies, on propaganda. You know. And you know, and I have no problem, Mark, standing here right now, as far as what's been put out by people like uh, the Missouri Sheriffs Association, uh, you know, <clears throat> public attorney groups. Uh, prosecutors, those are, it's not true, those are lies. Uh, these are people and industries that have a vested interest in maintaining prohibition by keeping it going. And uh, it's going to be quite an opportunity and really refreshing to be able to get out to people and explain, okay, you know, I'm sorry, this, this man with a badge told you this, but it's a complete lie. And, uh, you know, we have to examine the truth, what science is already telling us about this plant, and what all, a lot of us know just... This has been the know. problem all across this nation, has been so much policy being drafted that is apart from the science. That's the unfortunate thing in, that, in all this. It should be based in the science. It should be based in truth. What is it that we truly know about cannabis? We know cannabis is non-toxic. That in itself demands it's removed from the controlled substance list. The fact is, is that it's food. It has been food for the human race for over 25,000 years. Why, why would you take a superfood and make it illegal? It doesn't make any sense.